Yeah, Mike, we've all done this, right? To ask or to answer a question in class. Well, imagine being a student that needs a little bit of extra support and not being able to really do that over Zoom. It was hard because when I had a question, it was, I would get embarrassed to ask or scared. Ana E. Vivanco is one of Clinton Parish's students at Buttonwill Union School District. He teaches students with mild to moderate learning disabilities. Vivanco and fellow student Daisy Rico say in-person learning as a supported learner makes all the difference. And when you ask a good question, they're going to answer it. And sometimes when you're online, you're not going to be able to like hear or understand. Parish's class was the first to return to in-person instruction at Button Willow in late October. But that doesn't necessarily make things easier. It's a completely different kind of ball game now that we're wearing masks. And my, my voice is, as you can see, is already muffed and um, difficult to understand a little bit. But we do have our campus in particular, teachers have a microphone that we attach to our neck that makes our voice uh, more or makes our voice easier to hear. Parish also has visual or audio mediums attached to lesson plans for students that may learn from a variety of methods. Parish says mild to moderate learning disabilities generally can be physical like impaired hearing or eyesight or mental like needing extra assistance in reading comprehension and mathematics. So they're the, they're the group of students that need um, a little bit more support than a general education population, but enough support that it, it needs to be um, specialized. Each student has an education plan set at the beginning of the academic year tailored to their needs. During a pandemic challenging to any student, accommodations like extra time on assignments can help supported learners feel supported. The students have to have a fair and equal opportunity to uh, get a, a grade they deserve. So um, that changes with the times. To make sure his 11 in-person and six online students that Zoom into class stay on track, he has extra plans in place. His students ranging from second to eighth graders will have four hours of class in person, a break, and then virtual breakout rooms for extra help when they return home. Then there's assigned acceleration times outside of those scheduled instruction hours. Parrish says if a student does have a question in class, he tries to generally answer those questions from a distance. They do have a screen in front of their desks to keep them safe while they're in person. Mm -hmm. He also has a Google Hangout if they want to answer questions that way. At the Buttonwill Union School District, Kristen Vartan, 23ABC News, connecting you.